fellow humans and others if you're watching. And last episode we had troubles with the trains getting stuck. So that was way over here. And they were getting stuck out by the edge of the map. And of course not having access to the edge of the map, there's nothing I can do about that. However, what I think the big problem is, is that this area here is just producing so much stuff that uh, it's got nowhere else to go. It's either up here on the highway or out through the train, and the train is faster, so that will be the way it would go. I just look at all the traffic coming in here. So it's just too many trains going out here. There's nowhere for all of the produce from here to go. We've only got the one factory, which is not that, which is that. And for some reason it's short on crops. Check that, yeah, that's full. They're all full. And they should all be balanced. So they should be about half full, all of these things. So with nowhere to go, <clears throat> Within the city, they try shipping it all out. So what are we going to be doing this episode? Uh, to, used to uh, the edge scrolling. I just switched it over to go that way. Okay, I will have to build a forestry industry. It looks like right up here. Because this was the forestry industry, forestry area Right down there, let's look at our resource map. Yes, I could buy another square and try putting it up there. But I don't have access to another square yet. And I would need to get up to 38,000. Which is quite the ask for today. So yeah, I will have to put forestry and industry up here, and my oil over here once that's opened up. I'll need to bring the cargo train all the way around through here, so that's as far back as Woodstock can go. And it would also mean that I have to switch around this little intersection with the trains. Still getting used to the keyboards. Keyboard moving the monitor. But one other little bit of housekeeping that we can do right off the bat is up here where it says Kent Garden, our city park. We are going to rename that. That was why I wrote down the name of the first a citizen to move into the city, who was Aspen Alexander Memorial Park, because she is probably passed away by this time. Never know though. Aspen Alexander, case okay, three star park. We have plenty of entertainment, we're just waiting for the visitors to get up there. Yep, still trying to use the edge scrolling. Now where would I put... What I was thinking of doing was uh, moving the Garnet District and Heather Park up over here. So I could get access to the ore. I'm not sure I want to do that. I may just be able to fit it in up there. Let's take a look at this. Or I could come down here. Now that's for later on when I actually can expand. 
Okay, so we are going to make a industry area over here. Uh, go with the large one. Okay. Now, at, at least with the forestry, with uh, if you need to expand your resources, you can just plant a whole bunch more trees. Okay, and forestry. To do that, I need to put in a regular district. We'll do that as well. Okay, now I'll be able to do that. Yep. It's so under Holly Heights. Okay, so how are we going to get into this area? Oh, we have two options. You can come off of here and bring it in. And we can also rework this interchange. But I have highway going down there, and I also wanted to ring road, so I'd want highway to come up straight up and then take another interchange off straight off here. If that works, I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, time lapse time.
let's move on down. And wrong way again. Actually, let's do one more quick little thing here. And since we don't want just the little section of highway there, we'll just change that to road. Okay, now where do we want to start? Our industry area. Okay, let's go to Rural Road, just at the front of it. And a straight road tool. Let's give them a little room. And where does our industry come? All the way up there. Okay, we're good. Okay, back to the road tool. Come out there, under industry, forestry, main forestry area, or main forestry building, I should say. Plug that in, that opens up our first few things. I'm just going to go get this up to level two so I can get both, uh, oh, what is it, planks and paper. Okay, and let's make sure they have some water out here. Right up to the end. Still getting used to the keyboard. Okay, bring that up and over. Right over to the end. Okay, and electricity. Let's just run that right along the edge of the road here. Okay, we're hooked up there. I'm still pause. Let's get it back to running. I really doubt that we'll see anybody coming up there anytime soon. Make a liar out of me. Okay, just need to hook that in. Okay, so our first buildings are going to have to be down there. Let's just bring that rural road all the way straight down. Do about there. Okay, go under there. Turn that thing off. Okay, so we have the small tree plantation. The sawmill. And small log yard. Okay, so perfect. One, two, three. Sure, let's go with four of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, they will be wanting water. And probably electricity too. Bring that right the way down. Okay. Turn that off. Let's see where our resource ends. Okay, so let's put the road right about here. Okay, and off of that we will put a place to store all that. Sure, let's break it, why not? Yeah, let's make it two. Now pause that for a second so I don't get lots of trucks coming in. 
And why not? Let's go off the other side. And put in a sawmill or two. Toss that up. Else. Okay, the main building, maintenance building will be over here. Worker spirits over there. Let's go right about here. And warehouse. Stick in a couple of them. Make sure these guys all have water. And hook our electricity back up. Okay, that's all set. Okay, and here we go with another time lapse. setting it all up. Now we need uh, 150 workers to get up to level 2. I have enough room for 212. I may put in a little bit more just to bump that number a little bit. And resources are going to go. Okay, so let's hit play. Bump that up to 3 and let it go a bit. Electricity is all there. Let's make sure the water is covered. Okay, and while that's growing, uh, what's going on here? Okay, I'm just waiting for products to come from these guys. And they are waiting for products to come from down here. So we're all good. Okay, so I should probably put in a little bit of residential so that There'll be workers to come in here. Now I may leave this area open so that I can put a factory or two in. So let's do a little bit of residential. Uh, regular TU ground. And electricity, we'll worry about that in a second. Yeah, let's get our services in here. I don't want to transport. I want to park. Of course, what else? Dot park. And yeah, let's go with the bouncy castle. That gets that rarely gets used. So. Okay, education. Okay, we can use another elementary school right off the bat. High school, still have lots of room, but they're pretty far away. Let's plunk him right in the middle. University should be good. It's close enough. Like the university is just right over here. Uh, public library. Okay, right there. Okay, police coverage. You all need some. Right there, fire coverage, probably the same. Yeah, right across the road. Healthcare. Same little area. Uh, death care. 
Mm -hmm. Right the cop shop. And we're running down on money. Child house. Okay, seniors. We're across from the park. Child health. Stick him in the middle. Okay, slow that down to one speed again. And now it's going in zone. Uh, around here, let's go with low density commercial. Not that much. And it's our main park just leveled up. Okay, so we have the climbing frame. I'll add one of those in in a bit. So we have that. Uh, electricity. Yeah, we have it right across the road, so let's just do that. And I'm going to need another power plant, so I'll do that once I finish zoning out here. Okay, high density residential. Sure, I'm stick that there as well. Okay, I'm just gonna let it run so I can get some money coming in. Let's just come up here and watch this fill in. I was wondering why my game paused for a minute there. It's because my industry area leveled up. So let's let that run again. And how are we doing for money? We have 130. Okay, that will get us our power plant that we need. And which one are we going for? Silver is too big to fit in there. And that's not pollution, just noise. Let's plunk him in over there. That's well away, well away from the residential area over here. Okay, and uh, plenty of electricity available. Okay. Now I need to get the cargo trains, which are stuck again. Yep, all the way back. And it's causing my passenger trains to get stuck. So instead of clearing all the traffic this time, I'm going to turn on the de despawning. And that's just going to be until I can build up some more factories. So where do we want our cargo hub to come in? Probably right in the middle here. Okay, let's go with the railroad again. Go to break the line. Transports, not that, not that, but that. Okay, it's there. Yeah, power lines. There we go. All hooked up and ready to go. Here and yeah. 
going into the ground, so... Instead of building a bridge, let's work with what we have. Stuck again, this time coming in. Okay, so I'm going to have to rework this quite a bit. Okay, so let me see. Cover me the bones, I can get 260, 280,000. Okay, so where are we wanting this rail line to come? I think right about there. Zoom in a bit. Use this guy. Create curve. Let's try that from there to there. Okay, and slope. That's better. Yep. And arrange a line. Let's go from that spot. Up to there. And what does it do? Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, so that would, that would be more for roads. Let's go back to move it. Okay, that's looking a bit better. There we are. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll live with it. Now, now the fun, fun part. part. Let's hook this up to our train line. Our existing train line, I should say.
Okay, so after I finished completing building this, I decided to take a little break. And in my recording software, I thought that I had hit pause. But I must have double clicked on it because everything that I did after I put in the train interchange was not recorded. So let's swing that around and recap everything that we have done. So we've put in a factory and a warehouse over here. That's the lemonade factory. Now unfortunately glass cannot be imported, it has to be produced locally. I don't have any ore production going right now. So that's just there for the future after I do get some ore production going. And up here, okay, we, you saw me input that. There, build up the little residential area there. What you didn't see is I added in a couple of workers' barracks. Put in a furniture factory. And I also put in a biomass pellet so we can produce biomass pellet plant so we can produce paper. And it's now fading into the air. Everything is set up. Uh, Fine word went from level 1 up to level 3. Seems to be a little bit loud, doesn't it? Let's turn that down a bit. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, and I also added in a bunch of these small sapling fields. Okay, and two more of the new side of storage. That's the level two, I do believe. Uh, forestry, well, it doesn't say. Okay, and I know, since I moved up to level 3A, I now have medium tree plantation that I can put in. Which I haven't done yet. And large log yard, which I haven't added in yet either. That's just after I got to level 3. So that's pretty much all that I've done. Oh, and I upgraded this road down the middle. And added in a one-way road network there. So you can see it's going in and coming out over here. Okay, and the only other thing that I did was turn despawning off again. So that we can see exactly what's going on. Okay, so let's just let that run for a quick second and our water should be solved. There we go. And turn it up to level three and check in our traffic. Now, of course, it's going to be pretty good because I just turned the spawning off. But we want to see how our trains are doing if they get stuck. So I'll let it run for a few minutes and see what happens with the trains. Uh, still getting used to the keyboard. There we go. And bring it down like that, just for a little better look. And go into that view. Nope, that's not the one I wanted. That one. Okay, so it looks like the trains are running pretty good. So, this has been a pretty long day, so I'll call it there. Thanks for watching, and leave your comments, questions, suggestions, uh, like and subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And I will see you next time.